Hey guys, it's Heather from Caliber Plan, and today we're going to be filming a DIY vlog type video, and I'm super excited about it. So today's Wednesday, tomorrow's Thursday, tomorrow's mine and Matthew's anniversary, and this is a project I'm going to start working on today, but I'm actually not going to finish it till tomorrow. But I'm super excited because if you've been watching my videos recently, then you know that tomorrow is mine and Matthew's four year anniversary, and the theme we always do the themed gifts for each year. The theme for year four is fruits, flowers, for the modern theme and then the traditional theme no no I'm sorry traditional is fruit and flowers modern is appliances so I'm kind of like basing all of our the things that I'm going to be doing tomorrow for Matthew off of those themes so one of them is flowers and I was like I can't give Matthew flowers he'd be like well what am I supposed to do with this but I can't give him bacon my husband loves bacon. What husband doesn't love bacon? And so I did some research and I found these bacon roses that you could order from some company, but they wanted like $80 for 12 bacon roses. No, I'm crafty. I'm going to make my own bacon roses and y'all are going to come along with me. Let's go. Okay guys, this is my inspiration. Bacon roses. So cute. I've watched tutorials. I've read blog posts and I think I'm ready. Today I'm going to work on actually making the stem part of the flowers and then tomorrow is when I'm actually going to bake the roses but I'll be sure to film that too so that you guys can see that part of this project too and then I'll show you what it looks like at the end. I'm super excited. So I went to Joanne and I picked up these I picked up two sets of these roses. Um, they had a couple of different options for the roses but the reason that I chose this particular set is first off there's six stems and so two of them will make a dozen roses and usually packs of bacon have 12 strips of bacon in them so I wanted to do 12 and another thing when I was watching the videos is and learning how to do this is a bunch of people recommended getting fake flowers that have this part of the rose that kind of goes up some because that's what's gonna keep like help hold the bacon in place. And so a lot of the fake roses just had like the greenery underneath and it didn't actually have this green part right here. And so that's another reason that I chose this one. Plus I thought that the little white accents would be cute. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off these stickers here because I don't need and I don't want these stickers on the stem so I'm going to take that off and then I'm going to do the same thing over here Okay, so we got the stickers off. Now, what you need to do now is you need to take off all of these red um, parts. Now, I've read that you should, uh-oh, uh-oh, that just came all the way off. I wanna put that back on. Please stay on, please stay on. I think that you see, oh, it's got this red thing here. I also want to keep that because that will also hold the bacon. So I pulled this off and I'm going to pull this off and then I'm going to pull these off and then I'm going to hope that this will go back on. So there's actually like two layers. Um, okay. I don't think I really want this little layer. I think that would be a bad thing to have but I may have to figure out a way to make it work. So then I'm just gonna slide this back in and then I'm gonna slide this back on top like that, okay? And so now we have this little pocket that hopefully, if done right, will hold our bacon tomorrow. Now I may have to end up taking this middle one off I'm not sure, but that's what I'm gonna work on now is just ripping off all of the flowers. And then tomorrow, we'll actually do the next part where we film the bacon. I don't wanna do it today because if I do it today, Matthew's gonna come home and he's gonna be like, why does the house smell like bacon? And I'm gonna to have to tell him where the bacon is. So I'm gonna bake them in the morning, but we're, now I'm gonna work on taking all of the petals off.
our next step is to actually bake the bacon roses. So the supplies you need for this step is a pack of bacon. Everywhere I read said that thick cut bacon is best. So that's what I got. Um, some toothpicks. And then I have a baking sheet with aluminum foil laid down and then a cookie cooling rack laid on top and there, we're gonna end up putting the bacon on this rack. The reason you wanna do that is one, the grease will drip down into the foil and then you can just roll up the foil and throw it away. But also it makes it so that the bottom of the roses gets cooked as well. Some people, some DTI, DIY tutorials that you watch may say to put the roses in a cupcake holder and it looks like that works I've never tried it but I've read that this way makes it so that the bottom gets cooked better so I brought up two plates one with my bacon and one for us to actually roll the bacon on so I'm gonna pour out some toothpicks and take a strip of bacon also this is my first time to ever do like <laughs> A foodie video so it's a little bit weird it's a little bit weird so I'm gonna roll up the bacon this doesn't really look like a rose so I think I rolled it like too evenly I think if you roll it a little bit unevenly I think that's what helps it to look like a rose yeah, so now it's got, I'm gonna pull this part off though. So now it looks a little bit more like a rose. So then you take your toothpicks and you put them towards the bottom. It says as close to the bottom as you can go. And then the toothpicks now are not, they're gonna help your rose stand up on the cookie tray and they're also going to hold the rose together so that's how you make the rose and then place it over here on your cookie tray so i'm going to speed up the next part where i make all of the roses I have my 12 roses ready. I may take them and actually line them up a little better before I put them in the oven. Um, but they now go in the oven 400 degrees for 20 to 30 minutes. They say that at the end, the outside should be crisp and the insides will be cooked, but maybe not as crisp. So I'm gonna go stick them in the oven and we'll see what happens. All right, so now it's time to make our roses. So I got this vase at Hobby Lobby, it was in the party section. Our wedding colors were gray and yellow, so I'm gonna set up the table with a bunch of gray and yellow stuff. And I thought this would be really cute to put the flowers in. Now they're a little tall. I wanna make them a little bit shorter. So I think I'm gonna try cutting. Okay, so there's a wire in there. I may not be able to cut it, but I should at least be able, nope, it cut. Okay, so I think that's probably a good length or a good height from the vase. If you have like wire cutters, those would probably work better, but I'm basically just using my scissors to start the cut and then I break it off. Yeah, I think this is good. Okay, so now you take your toothpicks out of your bacon and you basically just put the bacon in the little flower holder. So this part's gonna be, I think, I think it's gonna be pretty easy. You just situate it in there and hopefully they all stay. Hopefully, we'll see. These that are kind of like angled are kind of the ones I'm a little more nervous about. And like that one's just kind of small. Maybe we put that in. I 
think this one, so these have like little stems. I don't know if you can tell, but like down in here, there's like a little bit of a stem. So if you push it down some, then you can try and stick your bacon so that that little green plastic is holding it in place. I think that will help. Y'all, this is so cute. My husband is probably going to think it's ridiculous, but like in a cute way. He's probably going to be like, Heather, you are so ridiculous. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> Bacon roses, they really do kind of look like roses. How funny is this? Also, my whole house smells like bacon. So, that's always a good thing, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. This might be like the cutest thing that I've ever done. <laughs> okay, let's get one down in here. This bacon's kind of fat. Let's see if we can get a smaller one just because I have to squeeze it down in here. I think it helps a little bit. Y'all, this is so cute. My hands are very greasy though. Okay, there we go. Bacon roses. That is so cute, you guys. I, here, sorry. Y'all may not have even been able to see that very well. That's kind of the top. I'll be sure to take a picture of the sides so y'all can see. I don't want to turn it sideways because then all the bacon might fall out. But y'all, that is so cute. What a creative twist on the floral gift for a four year anniversary. Rose, this would also be great for Valentine's Day. Just saying, I should have done this two weeks ago so that you guys could have had this idea for Valentine's Day. Okay, so. If you like this video, I hope you hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button and happy planning.